In this video, we are going to discuss about vectors. And the first question is, what is vectors? And to understand that, let us first talk about arrays. So whenever we declare an array, we provide a size, right? So let's take an example. Let's say we have this array. So this array can store 10 integers, right? But the problem with this array is that the size can't be changed. We cannot increase or decrease the size of it, right? So we can say the size of this array is static and that is why these arrays are also known as static arrays. Now we have something called dynamic arrays, right? And the dynamic arrays are just arrays, but we can increase or decrease their size. And vector is a dynamic array. And if you are interested in knowing this difference between static and dynamic arrays in detail, then you can watch a video through I button. All right. Now, we know that vector is a dynamic array. So now the second question is that how to initialize a vector, right? So we can initialize a vector using this keyword vector. Then we need to provide data type. Just like here, we need to provide data type. Here also we need to provide data type. Then we need to provide a name to this vector, right? So let's take an example. Let's say we want to initialize a vector which can store integer and let's say the name of that is V, right? So this is a vector. Now there are three mostly used constructors while initializing a vector. One of them is this. Uh, this way or this constructor will initialize a vector which is empty or we can say the with size zero. Now there is one more uh, constructor which is vector int. Then we can provide n n value. So this constructor will initialize a vector with size n and all the elements will have value equal to this variable val. For example, v of 3, 2, right? So this will initialize a vector with size 3 and all the elements having two value, something like this, right? So this will be the result end of this constructor. Now there is one more constructor and that is this v equals to, we can assign some values, something like 3, 2, 4, so this will initialize a vector with these three values and the size of this will also be three, right? Now there are more constructors, but these are the three mostly used constructors, right? Now if we just talk about how much time they take, so we can say that it will be order of one, it will just take constant time and both of these two constructors will take order of n, where n is the size of the vector, right? So you need to have this in mind while using one of these constructors, right? Now let us see how we can access elements from a vector. So for that we mostly use two operators. First one is this operator, square brackets, and the second operator is at operator, right? So using both of these operators, we can access element present at a particular index. For example, let's say we have this uh, vector. If we want to access the element present at first index, then we can do that using this or using this. Now using these two operators, we can update or fetch the value present at first index. So basically both the operators are same. The only difference is that if we try to access a index which is outside the range of this for example the size of this vector is 3 so now if we try to access a index which is 4 which is not valid for this vector in that case v of 4 will not give you a runtime error but v dot at 4 will throw a runtime error right so the only difference between these two operators is, operators is that when an index is out of range at operator gives us a runtime error now let's say if you just want to iterate over all the elements then we can do that using a for loop starting from zero and going till uh, whatever is the size n right and we can just access the ith element okay so now if you just want to update or print or do anything then we can do that using this view of i all right 